We are back inside of Better Minecraft, and I have been busy off camera. I have grinded 12 wither skulls. I don't know why the screen like moves with an elytra equipped. It's really weird, and I don't know if that's a Better Minecraft bug or something else. But it does make the inventory shift over by a little bit, which isn't a big deal. I also have to collect soulstone, because to kill the wither, if we jump to the nether quest... It says that you use soul stone instead of soul sand. I don't know if that's because it's a different wither or if that's another reasoning for that. But let me show you how I got these wither skulls because I got them from a spawner. Let's head to the nether. I have also got a diamond shield just so we have that to use. And I have also got a pretty decent bow. I just need to put infinity on this. And the final thing I did do, I got looting four. I got that from one of the uh, goblin traders from the nether. I had to trade a diamond sword and then also a fortune three book. So let's head to wither. And this is how I got the wither skulls inside of this structure, which we'll have to come back here later because there is a boss we have to kill here. But this spawner right there spawns, let's have a second and it should spawn one of them. These things, they are called the incomplete wither. And these blocks that are pushing them are blocks that are found within this structure. I just went and mined them all. But these incomplete withers, if I type up here wither skull, a normal wither has a 2.5% chance to drop a wither skull when killed. And it does also go up with looting. Whereas the incomplete wither, for some weird reason, it has a 95% chance to drop zero. I don't know why that's the case and why that's zero. Maybe it's a normal thing within the mod, but then Better Minecraft alters it to not drop that extra one. But then it does also have a 5% chance to drop one. So it's double the amount that the normal wither skeleton has. So I was killing these and they also spawn from a spawner so they are a lot more regular than normal wither skeletons. And it took me about 4 hours to get these 12 so that is 4 nether stars. I'm hoping them 4 nether stars is enough. And there we go we now have infinity on the bow as well so we don't need to have any arrows we just need to have the one. And I think we're now ready. We are going to have to kill the withers first because we need the never stars for the other bosses. But one thing I want to try, if we go to the factory, these blocks are not breakable by the player. Can the wither break these? Because I could like trap it within a wall inside of this structure and kill it or cheese it in a sense. But I don't think there's like thick enough walls to do that. I think the walls are only one thick on the outside. Because you can break other blocks in here. It's only the outer walls that can't be destroyed. Now I've dug the hole that goes... It goes about uh, 30 blocks or something like that. I hope this is a vanilla wither though. This could be a modded wither with some changes. And if that is the case, we could die here. But I'm hoping it's not changed at all. So if I spawn it... There we go, we got the achievement for summoning it, but we should get another achievement when we kill this, because one of the quests is to kill the wither. So let's stand back and let it explode, and we can now bow it, I guess. I want to use the... No, that sword does have smite also, so we'll use this one. So this sword is way better than our bow, so I'm just going to use the sword to get rid of it, and it's hit us once, that's totally fine. There we go, wither is now dead. Is this tunnel going to be long enough to kill another one? It might be. Let's kill it. I guess I could do something like this where I kind of rebuild the tunnel. So let's see if this works. If I do that and then I summon the wither again. Let's run back down this corridor. I think I'm going to just use my sword straight away. The bow wasn't really doing anything to it. And it did also mean that we wasted a lot of time. So is this going to work? Where has the wither gone? Uh, the wither's gone up there. If I bow it a few times, it should bring it down. And then I can punch it. With a sword would be good. I don't even think we're, like, taking much damage. Yeah, we've took half a heart. So it's just the fact of we can just get right in the wither's face. There we go. There is another wither star. And we have two more to kill. So let's get these two more done. And there we go, there is the final wither dead. Four never stars. 
And we didn't die once, which is good. We did get close on the third wither. I just died straight at it, and I think it got us down to like three hearts, if I remember. But that's good. So now the withers are dead. Should we jump straight into fighting this? Why is there so much glow lichen? Should we jump straight into fighting this boss? I think we should. There's nothing stopping us, I don't think. So as far as I know, I have never fought this boss before. I have no clue what it's going to do. I have no clue how to fight it. But all I do know from doing my research is you need to click a never star on it to activate the boss. So let's try this. There we go. We have clicked it. And it works kind of like the wither. We can bow this one. Uh, it does also wither us. Is it classed as that kind of mob? Okay, it does break blocks. Okay, the fight for this is kind of weird. I should have maybe brought more food. But it does make sense now why the outer blocks can't be broken. Because this does break blocks. And it would be a bit weird if it broke out into caves. Now, we did die to that. It killed us with some kind of laser. Like a big massive laser came out of it and started going across. I don't know if the boss is still going to be there. Because if it is, then that means we might have trouble getting our stuff back. But I also don't want to spend another netherite. Okay, or not a netherite, another nether star. So our stuff is here. Let's grab our items. We've got the shield still. Can I bow you? Uh, yes, no, you don't take bow damage anymore. And it's coming straight for us. Yeah, these lasers is what, like, wrecked us. It took, like, all our health. Okay, this boss is a lot harder than I thought it would be. I was expecting it to be, like, kind of wither-like. But it does a lot more damage. And especially when it does that charge attack. But we have got it down just below hell, half health. I don't know what kind of mob it is as well. Is it a smite mob? Because smite don't seem to be doing any more damage to it. And is that down? Okay, it's quite weak. Can we get it before it kills us again? I'm hoping we can. It's quite low. I might have to heal though because otherwise it is going to kill us. And okay, it's doing something. We've got it down to around about a quarter. I think it just spawned something because something did... Okay, it spawned fire. Uh, that is doing nothing to help us, I don't think. The shield. Yeah, it's that beam. That beam, you can't even block it with a shield. It just goes straight through it. But once we go back there, we should be good to kill it. As long as it hasn't healed too much and I can grab my stuff before it kills me. Let's grab that. It done half my health. Okay. It's only got a quarter of its health left, so we should be good to get rid of it. Okay, it's about four or five more hits away, but this is quite an OP boss. I wasn't expecting it to be that good. And there we go. We have killed it. Is it going to explode or something? Because it's doing some... Yes, it did explode. And it killed us twice, which I was expecting it not to kill us at all. But I guess that's fine. What do we get? We got Witherite Block. These blocks could be destroyed by that mob, which I was expecting them not to be able to. But what does this block do? It can be turned into ingots. Okay. And it can be turned into ingots. But what do these do? Why don't it just give you nine ingots? So you can get a weapon. You can get a anvil. You can get a laser. You can also get the block or a meat shredder. And you can also, okay, it can be used as a trim material. So now we're back home. We are going to have to collect more food because we are now out of food. And that should be two bosses ticked off the list. First of all, the wither is now done defeated. Then the overworld, was it the overworld? Uh, found in the, wait, why did this not count? Are you kidding me? After all that, this is labeled wrong. Defeat the Leviathan, but this is also labelled Defeat the Leviathan. Why is that? That kind of sucks. So we really fought that boss for no reason, because the quest for it don't even work. So I just done Google again, and you can craft this to find the structure. So let's make two of them. I don't think they're like the Eyes of Ender where they expire. I think we do also need a Never Star, so we'll take that with us. I'll also take the blocks with us. And then the final thing we need is some food. And so I don't have to AFK. I just bought a stack and a half of bread from a villager. As I could have like waited for golden carrots. But bread will do us just nicely for now. And I think we have found it. I think this is it. Because it's, yes, yeah, sunken city. There we go. As now, I guess we just need to head inside this structure. Oh my 
god. I wasn't expecting it to look like this. Where is the Leviathan? Do I need to activate it? Or is it just going to be somewhere down here? Uh, let's quickly read this before I head down. Found at the seas. Okay, so it don't say like where it is. It just says it's found here. What are them noises? They are horrible. There's something over there. Okay. So this just seems like... What is down there? Uh, what is... Is this like just flooded ocean? I think it is. There's like a portal looking frame over there. I don't know what I'm looking for. So I guess we just have to explore the structure. What the heck is that thing? Let's throw our chest piece on just so we have that extra protection. You, I don't know what you are. So I'm guessing the boss is in one of these like side rooms. You have to like fight your way through it. So let's block that off so none of them can get to us. And let's do one room at a time. We're going to start with this direction. If I just stand here... He's going to slowly kill that dude himself, I think, with the things. You are not a Leviathan, so you're not what we need to take out. And you are just slamming the ground. I need to make sure I heal or shield when you slam the ground. There we go. You are dead. You're a one hit. So there we go. I just killed the Deepling, which drops some um, coral fragments, Nautilus shells, and then some other random junk. So it's saying you need the Ultimate of the Amethyst. This thing right here is what you need. Which is a sword. We have that. Heart of the sea. Block of emerald. Block of diamond. Block of iron. Block of amethyst. Block of gold. Crystallized coral. Which is just four of them. So it would have been good if I knew that before heading here. Because we now need to try and go back to the base. And then what else are we missing? If I shift it into there. It's the heart of the sea. And then this thing. Which is four of them. And they are gotten from killing this guy. I have found a shipwreck. Let's head down. I'm hoping this has... What is that? What are you? Uh, you're something with a drowned on top. I can't see what you were. Uh, I'll have a look at that advancement in a second. I guess let's just head straight into the ship. The advancement was we just want our hat back. Encounter a uh, skelly wag near a sunken ship. Okay, no clue what that was. So this one just has some iron and then smithing templates. Buried treasure map. Okay, it looks different. That's kind of cool how it looks like a scroll. So it should be in 9-9 in this chunk as that is where it's leading us to. Which 9-9, where is the chunks? We're on 8-8. So it should be this block right here. So let's just dig down on this block. And hopefully it shouldn't be too far. There we go. It's right there. And there we go, that's a lot of iron, and then also the heart of the sea, which is what we want. Okay, there's some that are caged up, so do killing these work? Or does it have to be one with, like, it riding the other one? As if I can kill these, it would definitely be good. We only need one more. You're gonna kill me. Okay, that was a close one. And there we go, we got rid of him, and he did drop one. Perfect. So I think we can now craft the thing we need. If I place that there, we need to make that into one of them. And then we now need to craft up this, which we have everything. Perfect. So this is what we need to activate the boss. And okay, the screen is shaking. There are like some portals on the side. I don't know if they mean anything. Oh, wow. I did not expect it to be that big. And why is it running away from us? Okay, uh, so what do we have to do? We have to just heal it, I guess. So we got it to half elf. I would have like put clips on that in, but I had no clue what was happening. Frame rates dropped. Everything just went. So I'm going to try and get rid of it again. But it seems like this boss is like really weird because it will deal no damage. And then all of a sudden it will just deal like all your hearts in one go. And it's only two hits left. Can we get it? And yes. No. One more hit. Is it dead? What is happening? Is it dead? No, it's not dead. It's doing something. Why has it gone back up to max health? What is going on? This is so weird. The music is so off-putting as well. What do I have to do here? Because it's gone back up to half health, but I don't know, like, what I'm doing. It's going... It's coming for me, though. My frame rates have dropped. It has broken, like, a lot of blocks and just left them on the floor. What are these? I, I don't even know what I'm meant to be doing. It's just, like, flooded the ceiling with these things. Okay, there we go. I can hit you now. So why couldn't I before? 
And you did heal. So let's try and... Where am I? What is going on? This is insane. I can't hit you again. Okay, I can hit you again now. You're just screaming at me. That's not dealing... There we go. It's doing the screeching thing again. So I'm probably going to die to its laser in a second. But not if I kill it first. It's once again like no damage. It keeps teleporting me around. This, when it teleports me, I normally just insta die. And okay, we got it. I think we killed it. Uh, I don't even know where I am at this point. Where am I? I Okay, I'm still in a sunken city. Is it going to drop anything? Yes, there is some glowing things on the floor. Let's pick that up. Okay, let's get out of this place. This place is absolutely terrifying. I think that's the scariest boss battle I have ever done. And it seems like you can fight it again. But I want to grab these gold blocks and this sponge. So there is going to be... What did that drop? The abyssal egg. Which, what is this? Does this have any uses in any way? I don't know. Can we, like, place it down to, like, grow it or something? Let's have a look for it over here. The abyssal egg, it's right there. So it's dropped from the Leviathan. It don't have any recipes. We need also get the tidal claws. Right click to fire a grappling hook. Left click to shoot a tentacle that deals the damages to entities. And with that being said, we completed two from that because it was bugged and this one was counting the Leviathan for some weird reason. So that is now both of them done. There is two more in the overworld tab. But I think I want to head to the other side, which requires us to kill a warden. So apparently there is a deep dark below us right here. I use the nature's compass. I don't know if this is going to be an ancient city or just a deep dark, but we can kill a warden in a deep dark. It don't need to be a city. I know what I can do. If I wait for it to spawn one, I could just block it in because wardens can't break blocks. So it's spawning right here. All I need to do is that. And there we go. It's now stuck right there. So if I just head like 16 or 20 blocks in this direction. Until it can't hit me anymore. Uh, this should be out of range. And then I wait for the darkness to wear off. Like that. And what does this do? Let's try this out. So if I do that. Does that kill hit the warden? Uh, it doesn't seem to be hitting the warden. I don't know why that is. But let's now see. Can I bow spam from here? Uh, we might have to, like, line them up perfectly a bit higher. And nope. Yep, there we go. And there we go. We done it. We got a achievement from that. And also, we did complete the quest. That is Slayer Warden and Take Its Heart, Phantom Thief. We haven't taken its heart just yet. But that is exactly where we are going right now. And I forgot this is going to spawn another one. Uh, we are taking this heart and going. So if I do that, no, we need to be closer to it by the looks of it. If I do that, is that going to damage the warden? Uh, why are you not damaging the warden? Yep, you are. But now we better go because that warden is probably coming for us and it's probably going to kill us. I guess that an ancient city hunt will have to wait until next video. We have killed quite a few bosses within this video. We killed four withers at the start. We then did also kill the one from the ancient factory, which we didn't really need to kill. And then we have killed the Leviathan. In the next video, we'll jump in to the other side dimension and complete the achievements inside of there. And then we'll also complete the final two overworld achievements we have. But anyway, off camera, I'm going to stick up to the base and head home so we can prepare for next video. If you did enjoy this video, do leave a like and subscribe. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.